Hi guys, in this short tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create the camera focus effect with the depth of field. Let me show you what I mean. So if we go over here and we press play, you'll see that the background is currently focused. Now the front is focused. And you can just see the focuses keep on changing. And then at the end, I make sure that they're both focused and the front is focused, back is focused, then they both focus at the same time. And I'll show you how that's done. Right, so now that you're in Blender, um, you can use two square objects or two circle objects. I just use two random objects to demonstrate this to show you how it's done. So you need not worry about everything you see. But one thing you do need is go, go to Edit, click on Preferences, click on Add-ons. And when, one add-on that I found extremely helpful was an add-on if you type in Measure It. Now, if you don't see it here, just disable this so you can see everything. And if you type in and just click on this to make sure the measure it is ticked. If measure it is working and ticked, I'm using Blender 2.9, but 2.8 would be the same, you would see this ruler icon. That does help uh, with this depth of field that we're going to do here. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete everything I've just done, um, which you saw in that animation what, what, what happened there. And I'm going to select the, I'm going to minimize everything because we're only really working with the camera on this. I'm going to select the camera and I'm going to try and select all these points. I'm going to press X, delete all the keyframes. Now I've got nothing working here. And we're not going to move the camera at all. We're only going to, we're going to select the camera. Then down over here, we're going to choose the object data property of the camera. And the big thing is we have to make sure that the depth of field is ticked, it is selected. We're going to expand that open. And over here, you can see how it looks in the camera uh, in rendered mode, actually. But you don't have to do you don't have to have this set up. You can just use one screen. I've just opened them up like this. I'm going to press numpad seven over here, which is top view. And uh, the first thing I want you to do is I want you to select this ruler, and then from the object you want to use it from. Then we just. Uh, you, from the object you want to use it from, you select the object and you pull this way and you can see how far it is. And you press uh, numpad 1 and you go to this end here, you just bring it up and just make sure it's facing the right spots and 3, just to make sure that it, one, three, numpad 1, numpad 3 and numpad 7, it's all touching the right objects. Now we know that it, it is 11.5 meters away from this object. So if that's the case, we're going to add 0 we want to make sure that the focal distance is 11.5, right? And you could select the object um, with this eyedropper and tick it, but I find this system works better when you select it like I'm doing it right now, which is given the exact amount, 11.5, which is good. Once you've done that, you want to hover over the focal distance and press I. And you'll notice that a keyframe has been created at frame zero, which is good. Which means at that frame, this is going to be in clear focus, which is great. Now, if we move to frame 50 over here, and by the way, we are currently in our graph editor, if you're wondering. So we're using the graph editor here to move this along. Let's say at frame, frame 59, it doesn't really matter. You can choose whatever frame you want. We want this to still be at this, this, this focus. And we can do that by pressing I while hovering over this area with the mouse. And there you go. So now it's going to stay in focus. But let's say at 80, we want to change it to focus on the background because at the moment the background is blurry. Right? So now we have to just uh, press numpad, put our, hover our mouse in this block here, numpad 7, zoom out, and select this point and just bring it there. Numpad 1, numpad uh, 3, yeah, so it's all touching. So now we know that this is 26.8 away. So we're going to choose 26.8. And you'll see now that in this in our viewport, this is a lot clearer, and this has become blurrier. Now, before I do anything, I'm going to hover over here, and I'm going to press I, just to make sure that that has changed. However, you might not see such a dramatic effect yet, because you have to change your f-stop. Um, your f-stop might be on 28 or 128, but the lower the f-stop, the more blurry it is around the specific object. So if we make this 0 0.1 for everything, whatever it's not focusing on will remain blurry. So according to this, 
Well, we probably just want to change it a bit. 0 0.5. There we go. So if we, you can choose what setting you want. You, if you make this too high, like 200, everything is focused on. It doesn't really work. So you really want to use it at you know 0 0.5 or 1 to get this effect, at least for this kind of distance. And you can play around with this. And if you want to, for example, have this in focus at this, for example, at this point, you hover over this f-stop and you press I. And let's say you want to keep this f-stop all the way until here. Hover over here, you press I, so it stays constant. But let's say after this, you want it to go up to whatever, 30, right? And you hover over here, you press I. Now you can see in the viewport, everything is crystal clear, just like that. Whereas a few frames ago, this is quite blurry in comparison. And if we press uh, spacebar to play this, and we can view it here. Crystal clear, crystal clear, crystal clear. Let's go back. So we can see that this is crystal clear. If we move all the way to the next big jump, which is about there. The back is crystal clear and this is blurry. And if we go, yeah, everything is crystal clear. And that's how you do it. I hope that helped.